Okay, so we are live. It's Tuesday, February the 7th. Oh my goodness, seven days into the brand new catalog. Hopefully you guys are loving the new catalog and hopefully your customers are loving the new catalog. Um, we made it through January, so I'm just gonna say hands up, yay, January is over. Um, it's a refreshing brand new month and I'm so excited because I was ready for spring and summer. I don't know about all of you. So, um, you too. I am pretty sure most people were ready for it to be over. I was so ready, like so ready. Okay. So, um, each month, um, we have a different topic, um, of what we're going to talk about for the whole month. And so this month we're talking about VIP customer groups, VIP groups, and we are also talking about hostess of the month club. So hostess, hostess of the month clubs, we'll talk about, um, maybe a little bit next week. We're not going to talk about it tonight. Um, <laughs> you should see Miss Bella, my office dog. Um, anyways, so I'm super excited because tonight we're going to kind of go over some of the basics of what a VIP group is on Facebook. So for some of you um, seasoned consultants, this may be a little bit of repeat, but hopefully you'll learn some new tips and tricks tonight. Um, and then for those of you, because I know we have some new girls on, um, this will also be something um, that will be um, good for you as you get started with your 31 business. So I can't wait for this, Carla, good. So we're really gonna start basic. And let me just put a disclaimer here. Um, there is a Facebook training group ran by a group of leaders within 31. And if you're not a part of that group, I really encourage you guys to get on that. Um, I'm even learning things on that group that I haven't heard. Um, and they give you some really good ideas. So it's called Facebook 101. Facebook Partying 101, sorry. And um, I think the link is in... Let me check to see our pinned post. Um, do I pin it? Did I pin it? If I didn't pin it, I will pin it. No, I will add it to um, the pinned post at the top of our Facebook team group. So you guys have that, okay? But it's a really great group, um, and they do a lot of video trainings, um, and so I'm really even enjoying it. But so tonight, though, um, I want to talk a little bit about groups and a little bit about pages. And um, first of all, we're going to talk about what is a VIP group, right? And how do you set one up? Pretty basic, but it's a really good refresher for, for us all. So first of all, a VIP group. So when you're on Facebook, you have um, an option of being a group or a page, right? So um, if you're a new consultant, especially a new consultant, I'm going to encourage you to create a group, not necessarily a page. Why is that? Because you're going to have people who are able to see your group um, and get notifications from it. A page is something where you really have to grow your um, fan base. And people don't automatically receive notifications unless they sign up for notifications or they like the page um, in order to see what you're posting. So here's the deal. Um, a group is something that is closed. So you, when you create a group, you have an option of it being public, closed, or private. Um, I always encourage everybody to have it as a closed group. You don't want it to be a public group because you don't want to be spammy. Mm -mm. Um, you don't want your friends to constantly see everything you're posting if they don't want all the notifications. Um, basically, when you've added a customer or a VIP friend to your group, they're going to get the notifications until they turn them off. So that's a bonus. Um, the other thing is that with a group, um, I want you guys to think about our team group, right? So Sparkling Stars Lineage has a group, okay? That group, um, I want you to think about what we do in that group and kind of use that in your VIP customer group, okay? So what do we do in our group? We celebrate each other, we welcome new team members, we um, share ideas and tips and tricks on personal, we ask opinions about personal personalization, maybe what products people like, what colors people like, we share game ideas, we have games ourselves, we play little fun contests sometimes. So those type of things are what you can exactly do and mimic in your VIP group. 
So who's in your VIP group? These are your customers. These are your friends. These are your family members. And um, basically, um, it's very easy to add someone to a group, okay? It's not as easy to get them to like your page. Trust me, um, it's not. Um, but it, it's easy for them to want to be a part of a group. And I'm going to share with you how to add people. Um, don't be going and adding your entire friends list. <laughs> we don't want to be spammy 31 consultants. And if you have and have done that before, that's okay. You're going to learn the right way tonight. Um, but basically, we want um, everybody in this VIP group to feel exclusive. Um, if it's public, it's public to everyone. But if it's closed, that kind of makes them feel a little bit more special and that they're getting the inside scoop from you, their 31 girl. Okay, so um, everybody understand the closed versus public versus private? Yeah, Kim um, is asking, I'm gonna read it just because our recording won't show this, but Kim asked um, some, she's added people, but some say they joined and some only show added. Um, are those that say join the ones that subscribe. So they've accepted your invitation. Yes, that's what that means. So that's a good question. Um, Facebook continues to change the way things are kind of being done in groups. Um, and so, yes, that is something I know I'm added to groups all the time. And honestly, this is like, guys, I want you to put yourselves in your friends and family's um, uh, shoes. There's a lot of groups out there and a lot of groups like I'm added before I'm even asked and I'll be honest I'm offended like I'm offended I could name several different companies that people keep adding me to their groups and I have no interest in their products whatsoever and so I'll remove myself and then a day later I'm being added again and so I want you to think about those yeah I leave those groups automatically too and I hope hope that they don't add me back but then I have people who add me back like it's just inconsiderate and it's just not nice like and we're a relationship business this is what I think about it we're a relationship business so we had better start making relationships with the people that are in our customer group instead of just acting and adding people right so we'll talk about all of that here in a minute but basically let's talk about um Yes, the joined ones, I think so, Kim. Um, they're the only ones seeing the posts. Now, I'll be honest, I'm in a group right now because I've just been seeing somebody out of me to a group a couple months ago and I haven't really accepted it, but I am getting notifications every time the consultant is posting. In fact, I just got one a few minutes ago. So, um, yeah, and basically, Kim, we'll go over here in a minute of how you can message them, those who maybe haven't invited or haven't accepted to. So, because you're a newer consultant, so you're getting your group going. So, and then we'll share with those of you who are more seasoned, how do you get more people in your group? So, okay. Um, so, what should your Facebook customer group look like? Now, a lot of people say, Dana, I need a fun name. I need a creative name. I really encourage everyone to keep it pretty simple. Data's VIP customer and hostess group. That's what mine's called. It's not called anything fancy because they're my VIPs. They're very important peeps to me. Um, they know that. That's what it's called. It's easy to find. Um, and I want them to know that um, it's easy, something easy. It's my VIP group. Very important people. Very important peeps, right? So if I don't have them, I don't have my business. So that's kind of the way I look at it. So yes, you could call it, um, and my friend Annette has hers, it's shopping with Annette. Um, you could call it something else. You just can't use the word 31, um, 31 gifts, even the three and the one, you can't do that. Um, but you could call it something else, but make sure that people know it's your VIP group. Like these are where you're gonna really make the people who place orders with you, um, who wanna know about updates. And um, this is where they're gonna find out the scoop. This is, you know, you're not gonna post it on your personal page. So this is where they're gonna get the inside scoop. So think of the name that way. Keep it simple, don't overthink it. Like definitely don't overthink it. Um, now, if you have not formed a group yet, or if you formed one, stop adding people until you get it to looking like what you want. So if you're a brand new consultant and you've not formed a group yet, what I'm gonna encourage you to do is maybe add your mom or your sister or a friend, because you have to add at least one person to form a group, and then let's get it set up. So as far as setup means, I mean, we need to get you a cover photo, okay? Now, 
a lot of consultants are always asking for Facebook customer banners of the special. I'm going to encourage you guys not to put a customer special banner on your VIP group. Why? Because we're all about relationships. We want this to be a VIP group. So think of a quote that's your favorite, maybe a pretty picture. Um, think of something else besides just the customer special picture. Guys, they're not gonna look at that picture most of the time anyways. And if it's constantly changing and they're, they're like, oh yeah, I'm part of you know Kim or Jamie or Tara's VIP group, but I can't remember, like every time I get on it, pictures change and I don't remember what, what, what's, the gra what's the cover photo, what is that? or when somebody's looking for your VIP group, because if it's a closed group, they can still search for it on Facebook, even if they're not a part of it, but you say, hey, look my VIP group up, here's the name. <clears throat> if they see like a customer special and they're typing in VIP group, the, re the realization is other consultants could pop up too, and you all have the same Facebook cover photo, um, that doesn't make you stand out, okay? so the I'm just gonna include, encourage you to come up with a different cover photo. So I created one on pickmonkey.com, um, or maybe I did it on Canva, but mine is pretty simple, and I'll share it here in just a little bit. But basically, I took a picture of me, I whited out the background, added me to the picture so they know who I am, and it tells them um, my information, where to shop, um, has some spring graphic pictures that I pulled from what 31 has given to us in the catalog photos on TOT. 31today.com under spring and mark spring marketing material added some of those pictures and then I also wrote kind of a mission statement for the spring and summer and so um, pretty simple um, basically it says welcome I'm Dana your 31 girl my mission this spring and summer is to bring women together for a fun personalized shopping experience like any other um, so very basic very simple um, but they know when that picture that picture's there it doesn't change and that way guys honestly it's less stress on me every month I don't have to change my banner it stays there all spring and summer because those products are good through the end of July and so I don't have to worry about doing a banner that way um, I make it more I'm, I'm more intentional with coming up with a video sharing graphics about the customer special and things like that so um, I have not put a customer special banner in my customer group for over a year now and it's worked really really well um so that's your cover photo okay now then the next thing you need to work on is you need to work on your um, description or the about section of your customer group now mine I was looking at today because I have not updated it in a while and it's very lengthy I'm pretty sure that I took some of the some of it um, yeah it's super lengthy but at the beginning it says this is a group for my VIP customers and hostesses it has my information um, it has even and it has the wrong email so I'm just going to change that right now while I'm on here with you and then I'll show you guys um, basically it has my information on it and everything else as well um, so you want to make sure that it has something um, that stands out. Let people know how do they shop with you? How do they text you? How do they book a party? How do they join your team? You know, what are people going to be here for in this group? What are you going to do in this group? So that's kind of the description part, okay? It doesn't have to be very lengthy. Mine is super lengthy and it needs to be edited. Um, so that would be your description, but put something in there. Um, maybe you have a mission statement and you want to put it in the description. But what is the purpose of your page? Is it to bring women together? Is it to help them to find organizational items for their homes? Like, talk to your customers. Share with them what is what are they going to get out of this group besides just ideas on what to buy. Like, how are you going to provide a service to them this spring and summer? Okay. Then, um, and if you're wanting to join, grow your team, guys, you need to put it in the description and you need to put it in um, the next thing we're going to talk about, which is the pinned post. Everybody know about a pinned post because we have one on our Sparkling Stars um, Facebook group, okay? If you're on your phone, you can't see it. You have to click pinned post to view the pinned post, but if you're on the computer, you can see the pinned post. So the pin post is going to be something about who you are, why did you join 31, 
if you want to put that, your website, and maybe some frequently asked questions. So I was tweaking mine today for the spring and summer. Um, and basically it says, welcome VIPs. I'm so excited to have you here in my VIP customer and hostess group for this spring and summer 2017 catalog. This group is created for all of you. I want to keep you in the loop with the latest and greatest news from 31 Gifts. On top of all that, this is where you will find out sneak peeks, info on special offers from me. We will do some fun giveaways and of course, info on outlet sales is shared here. I hope that you will enjoy being a part of this group and invite your friends to join the fun too. Are you ready to shop? Click this link to shop directly on my website. Would you like to earn free products by hosting an in-home online party or catalog party? Go here and we will get you all set up. And it's just a link about, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, do you want to earn some extra income or take advantage of 25% off and take it or take advantage of 25% off discount? Join here. Tells them how to join my team. Would you like a new spring summer 2017 catalog mailed to you? Fill out this quick survey and I will get one in the mail for you. Click here and it's a link to my Google Forms that I've created. And at the end it says, thanks for being my very important peeps. And then there's a VIP heart with sparkles. Um, it's pinned right there. So now as new people join the spring and summer and somebody has a question and maybe I just can't get to it fast enough, I can refer them to the pen post at the top. Pretty simple. These are some basic things about the group. These are things, if you're starting your group, get these things set up before you start adding people. It's gonna make you look more professional. It's gonna make you look more put together. Even if you feel like you're losing your mind and you're not put together, hey guys, it makes you look good, right? We can fake it till we make it. Absolutely. Um, people also in your groups, they, they want to be thanked and they want to be a part of your success story. I tell my VIPs all the time, I am not where I am without them. I wouldn't be in the 4K group without them. I do not have a growing team without them. Um, I am not who I am without them. And so I'm constantly thanking them um, for supporting my business and for referring people to me um, and just cheering me on. Now, as we're talking about VIP groups, the thing is, is when we're adding new people, and this is something I too have to get in the habit of doing, it's so new for my VIPs, and I think I have over 388 members at the moment. So I have quite a few members, but there's a lot on there. I've reached out to all of them to see if they want to say, say. Some people didn't respond. I didn't remove them, um, but I've also added new people in. I want to welcome the new people when they come in, but I feel like uh, all the other people are going to be like, what? So I'm trying to like get my pin post updated, kind of start celebrating some of my customers who've been with me maybe for a few years or, you know, I'm going to be doing what, six years with 31, the five or six, I don't even know, seven years, honestly, in J July, my brain dead. Um, so I'm going to be celebrating in July some of my very first hostesses and customers in my VIP group. And those people have been with me from the very beginning. So as new people come in, I want to celebrate them. Hey guys, we have a new VIP today. Welcome so-and-so to the group. Or maybe at the end of the week when you've added new people, you welcome them. People are going to be like, wait a second, what, since when do I get, you know, cheered on because I'm in a VIP group? What? Seriously. So um, you want to give them shout outs also for placing an order with you, referring somebody. I always shout out anybody who refers someone to me for a party, for an order, for a, re a new recruit. Those people know. I make sure everybody in my customer group knows that I will love on them like no other if they're going to refer somebody to me. I give shout outs for people who party with me. I give shout outs to my hostesses. What did they earn? What did they pick out? Have them interact with your VIP group. People are watching whether they're commenting or not. Um, I love to share some of my hobbies with them. I sometimes do silly posts with them. Um, I will on Sundays, I haven't been doing this. I was doing this earlier this fall and winter. Crockpot Sundays, they loved it. They love hearing crock, what I'm cooking and what's in my crock pot. It's crazy. Um, I will do videos of pictures of me using the products. These are the type of things that you can do to interact with your customers and your group. Um, 
Now, when you are adding, um, let me just stop for a minute. Do we have any questions about what I've talked about so far? I don't see any questions, but if they pop up, I will be happy to answer them. Um, basically, is it okay to have your personal page and your 31 page? So are you talking, so here's the deal. Um, are you talking a group, Carla, or a page? Because I call my 31 page, my VIP page, it's really a group, but I call it a page. A page itself. You can have a page, guys, but I'm just being completely honest with you. Unless you have a large customer base and a large customer following, your page isn't going to get you anything. I'm just being honest because it is hard work doing a page. I run two pages, one for 31 and one for our word woodworking. And I will be honest, the only way that I gain new um, likes and new fan base on those is by spending money and running ads. That's what Facebook wants you to do with the pages. And I would much rather put it into groups than do a page. A page is very hard. And so I would just encourage you to stay away, especially for those of you who are newer, do the groups. Yes. Do the group. As you grow your customer base, then it's more important. Now the reason, I'll be honest, the reason I have a page, so when I first joined 31, groups really didn't exist on Facebook. And if they did, I didn't know what they were. And we were encouraged to start a page. So I started a page and then 31 abruptly changed the rules on us. And I had almost a thousand followers on Facebook with a page. And because I had the three one in it, I had to shut it completely down. I couldn't change the name. And they said, no, you can't do a page for like almost a year. We couldn't do a page at all. Like we couldn't do anything. They're like, the only thing you can do is a customer group, a closed group. That was a rule 31 was doing. They were really being intentional with, they did not want us to be spammy direct sales consultants like some other companies. So they said, mm, okay, we're just going to nick this in the butt right now. We're just going to get rid of this and you all, this is the rule. And they were cracking down on us hard. So I had to shut my page down. So then they opened it up and said, okay, you can have, be a public figure or a business person page. You can't have a business page, but you can have a business person or a public figure page. Okay, fine. But I had to grow that back again. And because I have our YouTube channel, our, believe it or not, we get a lot of, shout out to our YouTube viewers, because we get a lot of consultants that are not on our team that watch our YouTube videos because they're public. Um, because I had a YouTube channel long before I started really growing this team. I um, and I had to change that a little bit too. So I have a lot of followers and I, they're not necessarily my customers because I'm a leader with 31 as well. I have a lot of consultants who want to be a part of our team Facebook cut Facebook group but I keep that just to those who are, are on our team because sometimes I run incentives for you guys. So the only way I could communicate with some of these ladies who come to my Better Together events or see me on YouTube was to create a business person page. So that's kind of where it all started um, now because I've been taking social media um, I have a, a social media mentor um, and I've, I've learned more about it. I also know how to grow my following and I have gained new team members from it. I have gained new business from it, but it's a lot of work. Um, and I would honestly just encourage you to stick with the group. So yeah, Evan found me through YouTube. See, so there's a lot. I think um, that's our newest as Heather on tonight. Heather, did you find me on YouTube? Where did Heather find me? Um, Heather found me somehow. So um, I haven't even had a chance to talk with her yet. Yes. She found me on YouTube too. So that's the thing. Like, it's progressed, but you guys have to realize I'm seven, almost seven years into this business. It's totally different versus zero to two years. Okay. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about this. So my very biggest suggestion is to start a group. Okay. Now, if you are brand new, brand, brand new, or you're in your first year, okay. You gotta invite new people to your customer group. We're gonna talk, we're gonna kind of split this up since there's seasoned and non-seasoned. 
zero to a year of being with 31. Now, if you're brand new, get that one person in there that you can trust and they, maybe they can even share some ideas of what, you know, graphics and pictures you're sharing when you've developed your group. Then once you get your group, I'm going to encourage you to message, make a list, make a list of the people that you're friends with on Facebook. Who do you think would want to be a part of your customer group? Make a list. Now, it is totally fine to say, hey guys, I'm so excited. I just joined 31 and I formed a customer group to keep everybody updated on the latest and greatest sales, outlet sales, news, new products, etc. cetera. Um, I would love to add you. Let me know if you would like to be added. That is totally fine and I encourage you to do that on your personal page. But that doesn't mean that everybody that you're friends with is going to want to be a part of your customer group. So that's when you've got to have that list and go in and personally message them. Now, it's going to take some time because you don't can't message 100 people in one day, right? But you could take 10 a day, message them. Hey, Sarah, I am so excited to share with you that I've joined 31. I don't know if you saw my post, but I have formed a private customer group just for my VIPs, and I would love to add you. What do you think? Something to that effect. Or, you know, this is where I'm going to share all my new products. I'm going to reveal my new kit. And we're going to do fun giveaways, and I'm going to share about any kind of updating news that comes with 31. Can I add you? Would you like to be added? End it with a question because they're more than likely to say yes. And I promise you that if you ask them, they're going to honestly be honored. I, I have found because you're not just adding them, right? We don't like to be added to groups because we're added to groups all the time. But you did a whole different thing than most people will do, okay? So if that's your case, that's what I'm going to do. Now, encourage you to do if you're zero to a year okay now you're a year or longer you've already got your customer group more than likely right um, or you're getting close to setting it up okay so you can continue to message people make a list guys go through your group and if they say no there's no harm done but at least they say no but if you ask them um, and share the excitement I promise you they're gonna want to join now, if you're a little bit longer than a year or even six months and you've got some customers and you haven't added them, every time I get a new customer, I make sure and message them, hey, your so-and-so product is shipping out Thursday. Um, would you like to um, be added to my VIP customer group? This is where I share exclusive sales. I play fun games and giveaways, and I keep you updated on the newest catalogs and outlet sales. What can I add you or something to that effect? Um, when I send those via private Facebook message, I have yet to have anybody say no. That's just being honest. Um, now, when I've attached a link in an email, some people click on it, some people do not. But privately messaging those people who've purchased from me on Facebook, once they've purchased, I'm finding out if they've got their order or I find out you know, the shipping and I let them know about the shipping and I end it with a question, can I add you? They're like, yeah, absolutely, I would love to be a part of that. So that's where that comes in. Now you also have people who are in the group, right? You guys who are more seasoned. So this is where you can say, guys, I would love to have some referrals into this group. Can, can we add you? And so I have people who will request to be added to my VIP group. And each time that if I don't know who they are and I've not had some type of conversation with them, I will reach out to them and say, hey, thanks so much for requesting to join my VIP customer group. I would love to um, keep you updated on the latest and greatest. Would you like a new catalog? Um, you know, is there anything specific I can help you with? I kind of ask them those type of questions. Sometimes they respond, sometimes they do not. More than likely they do respond though because they've requested it themselves, okay? Excuse me. Um, so those are kind of the ways to add new people. Now you don't want your customers um, that are in there, you don't want to play some game and say everybody who adds 10 new people gets thrown into a hat for a fun giveaway. That's not what you really want to do because that's really kind of spamming too. Um, but you can always say, hey guys, I would love you to share this link of my customer group and encourage your friends to join. For every person that requests to join, you'll be thrown into a hat for a fun giveaway. Something to that effect is totally fine. Um, <clears throat> 
if you're uh, starting your customer group right now, or you started it recently, one of the things to get started and get people interacting right away is to do something where they have to comment about something. And I'm going to show you guys, excuse me, what I just posted in my customer group tonight. And you guys are going to get a sneak peek of mine. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So here is my VIP customer group. And as you can see right here at the top, it's just called Dana's VIP hostesses and customers. Now I do not, unless it was a consultant who joined, um, um, and like I have a couple of consultants in here and it's only because either they joined my group and then they joined our team or I've let them kind of just see something for a minute, but I don't keep consultants in here all the time because I want my VIPs to know this is a safe place just for them. Um, and so I'm very particular about it. You did, you did that and got crickets. Well, you never know, Kim, Kim, you're newer though. So don't give up, don't give up at all. Now I will say, and Randa's not on tonight, but Randa is one of our consultants who started off really strong at the, um, she's been with the company since this fall, but she's completed all four start swells and earned all four. And she, um, went live all the time in her customer group and that got people really excited. And she was just herself. She may be laying on the couch, but she was live and she was sharing more about 31. She shared her new kit live. Um, she would share new products. She would play fun games. Um, she would share what's going on in her life and people loved it. So Okay, a couple things I want to point out here is this is closed, so it should say closed group. Now, anyone can find the group, like it says, and see who's in it. Only members can see the post, okay? Um, then over here is my long description. So I'm going to tweak that tonight when I get off because it is way too long and I haven't edited that in a long time. But you should have some type of description here. Now here's my cover photo here. So I just put a smaller picture of me. It's not a professional picture. It's just one that I preferred and decided to put on there. Um, took a picture of the two kits with, and made sure people know it's $99. Have my little mission statement and then where to shop. Pretty simple. Um, so that is at the top and people can see that when they're looking for your group or they're looking to request to join. Then here it should say pinned post. So when you want to pin a post, you have to actually um, click, there should be an option that says pin post and then that will be at the top. Now, if you guys aren't creative or not creative, you all are creative. If you don't want feel like being creative and you don't want to create your own little cover photo, you know, you can go to Google and search like, pink, the color pink, and put a pink photo in there as a cover photo. You could do whatever kind of photo you want. Um, I'm not saying you can't put the customer specials, but I'm just saying be unique, be you. Be different because that makes you stand out and that makes you create, makes you stand out for your customers and your hostesses. Um, so here's my pin post, like I read to you earlier. So here's all the links. Um, if they click on this link, it takes them to um, this link here on our website to be a host. Pretty simple. So I just copied this and pasted it in there. Um, how to join, same thing. They click on that link and it comes over here to the join group and they can join now. Um, same thing for spark, uh, shopping. I have purchased a, um, what's it called? The domain. I've had my donate domain for several years. Um, just a little bit catchier. I really wish it was like shop with Dana, um, instead of sparkle with Dana, but it is what it is and I'm not going to change it now. Um, I used, um, I'm pretty sure this one I used, um, pick monkey, Kim, but you can use pick monkey. You can use Canva. I know there's some other ones out there, but those are the two that I prefer. <clears throat> um, let's see. Um, I have a survey for catalogs. So that link takes it there and then there's the picture. Um, let's see, I'm gonna, I don't know how to delete that. I guess I can't. Okay. So here's a couple of things that I've been doing today. I, this evening I posted this picture that I found in, um, I think it was the pink sandbox group. So I've had a few people reply, not a lot. Um, I can tell you that Eleanor is one of my hostess of the month club ladies. Stephanie literally just joined the other day. 
Tiffany is one of my hostesses that hosts every season and Tracy purchases, purchases at least three or four times a year for me. So these are people that are um, continually ordering from me. Um, now, like Tracy, she said she likes all of them. So that's going to be a little difficult, but you could reach out to them one-on-one -on -one, and there's actually graphics. I will share all this um, after I get off here with you guys. Um, and so basically what it is, is it tells them what their personality is and a little bit more about each purse, depending on what one they choose. I just like this because it shows a nice spread of all the different purses and totes for the um, upcoming season. Oh, Eleanor's face. Okay, um, below this, now here's where I do use my page and I do it because it grows my page. But you could do this without having a page. Is I took a picture of the three items that are $31. Even if you don't have the right prints, you can still take a picture of it. Um, and I've had two people, well, I've actually had three people interested. So they're like, can I get all three of those pieces in different colors? And so I've just kind of explained how it works. Um, I never want anybody to feel pressured, but I always like to let people know, guys, this is an incredible deal. The tote itself is $35. Like if you're wanting three products and if you want a large utility tote and that cute new print, like why would you not at least give it a shot for three months? And if you don't ever sell anything, okay, big deal. You're not out anything. And that's what I always continue to tell my VIPs. Um, I found some bundles, so I posted some of that. And then um, every time I get a new product, I go live in here, whether they're watching me or not, or I go live on my page. Um, I kind of kill two birds with one stone, so I go live on my page and then I share it here. But all of these VIPs are also following me on my Sparkle page, and so they'll comment. And they commented actually on my Sparkle page, but I just share what new products I get in. I don't care if I have gray hair showing in my crazy, messy bun. Um, like, I am me, and my VIPs know that, and that's what they expect out of you. They don't need you to be all dolled up and, um, you know, feel like you have to have fancy. I had comfy clothes on. Sometimes I'm in my PJs or I'm laying in bed and I want to share something with them. So be you. Don't try to think you have to be somebody that you're not. Um, I will sometimes share graphics from what is from 31 gifts. So basically if 31 posts something that I feel like I want to share with my customers, I will um, just click the share button and then share it. I don't know if you guys know how to do that, but I'll show you. Let's see. There's Christy's post. Um, my nose is bothering me. Sorry. Okay. So basically, if 31 is sharing something, I mean, you could take this picture and use it as your cover photo if you want. Just right click it and save it. It's super cute. Okay. Problem is, you don't want to get confused with the 31 page if your customers follow in this. Just saying. Okay, let's say you wanted to share this with your customer group. You just come down here to share and then click the share with the three little dots. And then you'll come up here to share in a group. And then you would type your group. And then you could, I would always comment something myself and then you would just post it. Super simple. Now, here's something, this is a hostess thing. So here's an, a tip for you. If you have some hostesses this month, go ahead and say, guys, I can't wait to spoil my hostesses for February with this incredible deal for those who reach a $600 party. And you can tag your hostesses and then post it in your VIP group. That catches people's attention. So that's another option for you. Um, I will sometimes ask what new prints they're excited about. So I got some repl replies to that. Um, I've shared some uses on how to use the mini storage bin. Um, I just ordered the new um, Lakeside Tote, um, and I decided to personalize it this way, and I wanted their opinion. And so a few people um, responded to me on that. I ask their opinion quite often when I am personalizing my new products because I want to know what they like um, and what they want to see. Um, this was fun the other day as I just told them they've been kidnapped, what characters from the last TV show they watched or they trying, are trying to rescue them. A few people responded on that. Um, I asked them what their favorite icon is. Um, I will share videos from the new J, JK by 31 um, line. I share about the chick because the chick is only available this month. Here's some more. I share the link to the new catalog. Um, when it is a new 
new um, month, you will see me live in my customer group because they are first and foremost my most important peeps. So this is where I shared the customer special live and it was about five minutes long. Um, I share about 31 gives. Um, and that's kind of some of my customer group. So there you guys can get some ideas, hopefully. Um, I will go to Pinterest and find bundle pictures. I will search on other VIP groups or other Facebook groups, excuse me. Um, I will um, come up with just crazy ideas sometimes of, but I try to just ask interactive questions. I just don't want to post a bunch of bundle pictures because no one's going to respond to those guys, but they will respond typically if you continue to ask these type of questions um, and, and get them to interact with you. Now, again, let me just stress this. I've been in the business almost seven years and I'm not, not, that's not to brag, that's to share with you. It has taken a lot of time to get my customer group to where it is today. And it's still not exactly where I want it to be, but I'm learning as I go what to post, how to get them to interact, how to get them to respond, and how to add new people in. And I, for the first time this fall, felt, felt like I am on top of the world and I know how to invite my customers now into my group and make it more personal. Anytime you want your customers or your friends or your family or somebody that you've made friends with and you want to invite them to something or you send them a message, end up with a question, guys, because that will make a huge difference. Can I add you to my customer group? You know, what do you think about this? Um, they're more apt to respond when you end with a question versus let me know what you think. I'm not going to respond. Um, if you ask them a question, they're more apt to respond. I promise you. I've been trying that for about seven months now, and it's totally working. So um, that is kind of the just of groups. Questions tonight. Tomor uh, tomorrow, next Tuesday, we will go um, a little bit more in depth about like maybe some theme days for VIP groups um, and some additional ways to build growth with your VIP groups. We'll also talk about those hostess of the month clubs um, and um, we'll probably just take some Q&A as well. So maybe some graphic tips about customer groups and things. Did you guys have any questions? I'm not quite as long-winded tonight. The thing is, be patient with your customer groups. And, um, oh, here is, let me just share with you guys. Since I have my screen, I can share. <coughs> Excuse me. This group here, so it's facebook.com backslash groups backslash 31party101. This is the group um, that... Um, shares lots of tips and tricks for your customer groups. Um, these ladies are um, actually sh um, taught some classes at conference last year, so they're very knowledgeable in this, and I learn a lot from all of them. Um, and so there's ideas on playing games. Um, they always have a video. Each um, person does a different video for the day. Now, if you're wanting to be a part of this group, let me just stress this. Um, you need to have the 31 gifts in your profile. So let me just share with you on mine. So if you come over here to about on your personal profile, it needs to say that you're with 31 gifts, that you're an independent 31 gifts consultant. Okay. That's how you're going to be um, added to the group. Now something else, since we're on Facebook, let me just share with you. This is important because people are watching you on Facebook. So put that you're with 31 gifts. The other thing I'm going to encourage you to do is put your website up here so they know how to shop with you. Uh, yeah, that's allowed. Definitely want to do that because you want people to be able to just click on your website and directly go to your um, group or to your page to shop. So a couple extra tips. Any questions, guys? I'm so glad many of you got on tonight. Hopefully you got some tips and some tricks and you're ready to go with your customer group and don't feel overwhelmed. Oh, thank you, Heather. I'm so glad you joined our team. Welcome. I haven't had a chance to like reach out to you one-on-one. -on -one. Welcome, welcome. You're welcome, Carla. Congrats on putting an order in already this month. I saw that. Miss Kathy is on. Hey, Kathy and Jamie and Kim and Christy and Tara, Evelyn and 
Heather, I already said hi to you. I was straight. Who else did I miss? Did I miss somebody else? You're so welcome. Um, Christy, good question. Do you have a lot of followers on your page? Favorite training yet. Good. I'm glad, Evelyn. I hope it helps. Hello. Um, the thing is, is that I would um, try and see if you can move the people over from your page, like share the link on your page to your group, um, Christy, and see if anybody joins. Um, I, you could use the page to, are you getting a lot of views? I guess that would be the first question. Not much going on there. Um, I would just say, you know, to keep to, um, how would I say it? Let me think. I would probably say something like, oh, well, here I can, maybe I can look, hold on. I still have my old page. It's just hidden from everybody. I can kind of tell you what I put, um, on my page when I had to shut it down. Maybe I can't because I can't see it. I think I had to delete everything. Um, I just kind of put something like last day this page. Well, I put thank you fans of, you know, Dana's 31 gifts for all your support. This fan page will be removed this evening. If you'd like to become a fan at our new group page, please click on the link and request to join. This will keep you updated on updates, giveaway sales and more. Um, and so I just put the Facebook group on there. Um, I gave them about a week to let them know that this, this group was um, no longer going to exist, but they could stay up to date with the latest and greatest um, tips, tricks, contests, and things like that by joining the group. So you may want to put something like that, say to simplify things for you this spring and summer season, you um, want to focus more on your VIPs. And so you would love for them to jump over into your VIP group and um, let them know that way. Maybe that helps, hopefully. You're closing on your house in a week. Yeah, it is, Christy. It is. It's a lot of, um, it's a lot of work. And the more that I know about um, pages, the more I know that they are beneficial, but it does take a lot of work. And like, I would definitely just grow and really be, get good at the customer group. And then if you feel like you want to expand to a page, definitely do that. So. Yeah, Google Photos, that's a great thing, is now you can use Google Photos to share and link into Facebook, which is amazing. I love Google Photos. I love Google altogether, so. Um, any other questions, guys? Well, we will be back next week, um, Thursday at 3 p.m. I will be live on our Facebook group. Um, our Spark and Stars Facebook group. Um, that's when I go live and answer any questions you guys have that you're thinking about anything else. Um, I usually do some type of training. I think Thursday I'm actually going to show what I put in my mobile office because I was hoping to get it up today. And guess what? My printer decided to stop working today. So I have got to try to figure out why is it not working? So Thursday is going to be about mobile office at three o'clock. It's um, Facebook live, but that's always recorded. So you guys can go and watch it on the group later if you're not able to join live because I know a lot of you work. And I think that's it. Have a wonderful night, guys. You're welcome. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.